The station is designed to test your ability to provide spinal immobilization on the patient using a long spine immobilization device. You and your EMT assistant arrive on the scene of a motor vehicle crash. The scene is safe and there is only one patient. The assistant EMT has completed your initial assessment and there are no critical conditions requiring interventions. For the purpose of the station, the patient's vital signs will remain stable. You're required to treat the specific isolated problem of an unstable spine using a long spine immobilization device. When moving the patient to the device, you should use the help of the assistant EMT and the evaluator. The assistant EMT should control the head and cervical spine of the patient while you and your evaluator move the patient to the immobilization device. You're responsible for the directions of the subsequent actions of the EMT assistant. You may use any equipment available in this room. You have 10 minutes to complete the station. Do you have any questions? No, I do not. Okay, whenever you're ready. All right, BSI, the scene is safe. I'm gonna come on scene, I'm gonna have my partner Karen maintain C-spine stabilization. At this moment, I'm gonna measure and apply a cervical collar. At this moment, I'm gonna check for pulse motor sensory in all the extremities. Wiggle your fingers for me, please. What finger am I touching? What finger am I touching? Pulses are present. Pulses are present. Wiggle your toes for me, please. What toe am I touching? What toe am I touching? At this time, I'm gonna measure and put the long board where I want it to be. Okay. Now, using your assistance, I would like to log roll the patient. Sure. Um, can you place your hands on his torso and his upper thigh? On the head person's count, we're going to log roll them toward us. One, two, three. Quick scan of his back to make sure there are no injuries. I'm going to hold the board at a 45 degree angle. Head person's count, we're going to log roll him back over. One, two, three. He currently doesn't seem to be centered, so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna slide him down and then up in a V-shaped. Okay. Um, can you grab his hips? I'll grab his shoulders. Okay. We're gonna go down at an ankle. One, Head person's count. One, two, three. And slide him upward in that direction. Ready? One, two, three. He now appears to be centered on the board. Thank you. You're welcome. Now I'm going to start to apply my straps. I'm going to start with my first strap on the highest rung, under his shoulders, under his armpits. Take a deep breath for me, please. Second strap to secure the lower part of his torso. Take a deep breath with me, please. My third strap, directly above the patient's knees.
Now we'll secure his upper extremities. May you please place your hands in the center of your chest for me, sir. May you hold this. And then lastly, I will secure the patient's head to the board. One, two. And then I'll tape it down. Now to make sure nothing's been compromised, I'm gonna check PMS. Okay. Look at your fingers. What finger am I touching? What finger am I touching? Wiggle your toes to me, please. What toe am I touching? What toe am I touching? And we will rapidly transport now. <laughs> 